Finally, what we've all been waiting for, infinite length talking animations, running even on low VRAM, with the power to animate any image or lip sync entire videos, endlessly. Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we're diving into the One Infinite Talk 3-in-1 workflow inside Comfy UI. This workflow is designed to create endless talking animations with three powerful options. Image to video for one person. Folks, let me tell you, we've got the greatest AI ever infinite talker. Absolutely tremendous. The best. Alex, a genius, built it with Comfy UI Studio, the most fantastic platform, believe me. It's huge, talking endlessly, smarter than all other AIs, folks. Image to video for two persons. You forgot our anniversary. No. I remembered. Then where's my gift? This smile. Return it. I don't know that woman. Even if there wasn't gravity on Earth, I'd still fall for you. We're not socks, but I think we'd make a great pair. Is your name Wi-Fi? Because I'm really feeling a connection. Video to video lip sync. When you breathe with your diaphragm, it would sound something like this. It wouldn't be very, very low. I've prepared several examples to show you how each of these modes works. I'll also explain settings VRAM optimization, and how to get lossless quality output. Let's get started. First, let's look at the one subject image to video workflow. I rendered out several examples to show you how flexible it can be. A dog singing, which shows how fun and creative the results can be. <laughs> A baby singing. A woman singing. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. And also a large format version at 1024 by 576 pixels. I'm not here to ask, I'm here to stand. Didn't come for luck, I came with a plan. I'm not here to beg, I don't need a hand. I shape my world. The higher resolution makes a big difference for professional use. And finally, a woman talking, which demonstrates just how natural the lip movements look in continuous speech. So I was like, I was working there and then we had a client that came and he, uh, he asked like for a drink and I said, oh, you should try this one. And he said like, well, I would get anything that you sell me because you're so magical. As you can see, this workflow works on almost any subject, whether it's people, pets, or characters, while keeping likeness and smooth animation. Now let's move on to the two-person image to video workflow. This mode lets you animate conversations between two characters, but the audio setup is very important. In the node widget, you'll find two options, add and para. With the add setting, you can load to separate audio files and the workflow will simply play them one after the other. This works great for a basic back and forth conversation, like a question and an answer. So I was like, I was working there and then we had a client that came. When you breathe with your diaphragm, it would sound something like this. With the para setting, the workflow merges both audio files and tries to use them at the same time. But to make this look realistic, you'll need to prepare your audio in advance. I recommend using an editor like CapCut. There, you can extract your dialogue into equal length clips and align them into separate time frames. That way, the character's lip movements match perfectly, and the conversation flows naturally. You forgot our anniversary. No. I remembered. Then where's my gift? This smile. Return it. I don't know that woman. Even if there wasn't gravity on Earth, I'd still fall for you. We're not socks, but I think we'd make a great pair. Is your name Wi-Fi? Because I'm really feeling a connection. Turn off one of the audio tracks and export it in MP3 format.
Then export the other audio track as well. After that, insert both audio files into the workflow audio node. Don't forget to mask the two faces. Set the maximum video length if you set it longer. Only the full length of the audio track will be rendered. This opens the door to dialogues, interviews, debates, or even podcast style videos, all generated directly in Comfy UI. Next, let's explore the video to video lip sync workflow. This one doesn't start from a single image. Instead, it takes an existing video and syncs the lip movements with your chosen audio. When you breathe with your diaphragm, it would sound something like this. It wouldn't be very, very low. Redubbing videos in a new language, giving existing footage new dialogue. Now let's talk about the frame window size setting. By default, it's set to 81 frames. That's perfect if you're rendering at 1024 by 576 pixels on a GPU with around 24 gigabytes of VRAM. But if you want to go higher, for example, 1280 by 720 HD resolution will need to lower the frame window size. Setting it to 49 frames is a good choice for HD videos without running into memory issues. So the rule is simple. 81 frames for standard quality with enough VRAM. 49 frames for HD videos. Another key feature is the raw node. When enabled, it saves every frame of your render as uncompressed images in a separate raw folder, along with the audio file. This is extremely useful if you want lossless video quality, because the standard video combined node cannot export in true lossless format. Here's how I use it. Open your video editor and set the frame rate to 25 frames per second. Make sure each image is treated as one frame instead of one second. Drag the entire folder of images onto the timeline. Then drag the exported audio, align it, and you're done. This gives you a perfect, lossless quality video, preserving every detail exactly as it was rendered. When you breathe with your diaphragm, it would sound something like this. It wouldn't be very, very low. Now, a quick word on how rendering actually works. The Infinite Talk workflow generates videos in chunks of 81 frames. Each chunk is stitched together automatically, so your animation can continue infinitely without flickering or breaking the likeness. This approach is what makes truly endless talking videos possible, no matter the length. The prompt will repeat every 81 frames. So, if you use a prompt like Rain and Fire, that exact description will cycle again after every 81 frames. Now let's talk about VRAM and models. I tested both the GGUF models and the basic models, and honestly, I didn't notice any difference in from usage or rendering speed. I also tested all the Infinite Talk models, and again, the performance was almost identical. Here, I'm showing you my rendering speed test sheet. I ran these tests on an RTX 3090 with 128 gigabytes of RAM. Keep in mind, the RTX 4090 is roughly twice as fast as the 3090. That means a 10 second video at 512 resolution would take around five minutes on a 3090, but only about two minutes and 30 seconds on the newest RTX cards. And don't forget, there's also a brand new one fantasy portrait workflow. It can copy facial expressions directly from a video and use them to animate your images. I'll be making a dedicated tutorial on this workflow very soon, so stay tuned. Finally, here's how to set up the workflow. Comfy UI Studio users can use the automatic model download scripts located in the workflow folder or they can download models directly using the links provided in the workflow node. And that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next update.